Good morning. Now, kayak fishing, it can be one of the most, well, actually, I'd say it's probably the most fun way to catch anything big because you're at the mercy of the fish to a large degree. If you're doing trolling or drifting, you're going to get pulled around. But for flatheads, you want to get anchored up and set up properly and, most importantly, safely. And that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm Spencer. This is River Certified. So that right there is a real fine piece of structure and probably has a flathead living in it. Now, if I want to fish the top end, I'm going to tie off to the bank. I'm in a kayak, but I'm basically going to be fishing from the bank. So first thing I do, when I'm coming up to a spot, I start paddling backwards because I want to slow myself down. I paddle backwards and slide to the bank, just like this. Once I get to the, close to the bank, I get my anchor pin ready. I have an anchor trolley. I get my anchor trolley ready. Take it, shove it to the bank, just like that. So yeah, I'm on the bank. Got my anchor trolley right here. Got my anchor pin, shove my anchor pin through the hole of the anchor trolley. That's one option. Another option, I have cleats back here. These cleats, if I didn't have an anchor trolley, you can just have cleats. So you just shove it in the bank. Have your line on your anchor pull and just cleat it off. just like that and I'm still fishing and one thing I like about that method over the anchor trolley is that you can cinch down really tight and hold yourself really secure so you don't sway flatheads during the day oftentimes are really light biters and if you're swaying if you're not swaying you can see those those little hits where they just like and just stay there that you would miss otherwise if you're swaying all over the place you still sway a little, but it's a lot less. The current's pretty minimal right here. If it was fast, I wouldn't do it because it's better to be safe than sorry because there's nothing in the river to be scared of except for the river itself. That's the most dangerous thing out here. So you gotta respect the water. If it looks questionable, it looks a little hairy, don't do it. All right, move on to the second way I anchor and possibly the most effective. Clean kayak's a happy kayak. Who am I kidding? This thing's never clean. So the current back here is significantly reduced. So I just paddle alongside it, slow it down by back paddling. Let's we'll slide up behind this log here. So I got my grips, and I've never seen these online. Maybe if you do a search, you'll find them. If I find them, I'll link them in the description. These are the best ones I've ever found. These are awesome. They open really wide. Um, there's some other ones that don't open nearly as wide. These things open really wide. I can grab onto that, that log right there and get a, get a nice healthy chunk of it and really cinch down. So after I've cleated it off, or I have the grip set into the wood, I'm gonna take this and run it down into my cleat. Now I'm ready to fish. It's that simple. If you come up to a log that's too big for your, your grips to work, I have a carabiner tied on the other end. How that works. Just imagine this log so darn big I can't get those grips around it, but I still want to tie off. So what I'll do is I'll just loop around and clip my line just like that, and then run it down through my cleat and get it tight, and I'm anchored again. Fast current, don't anchor in it. Slow current here, okay to anchor. Don't get crazy. I can't emphasize that enough. If you're not sure if you should do it, don't do it. Now these guys right here, these brush grippers, like I said, I, I, I've never found them online, but you can get them at Johnson Bait and Tackle. They're a worthy investment. They're gonna last forever, these teeth. And some of the other teeth, they're just real thin metal and they'll fold over after a while. These things are big and beefy and durable and I love them. So, hope you found that helpful. Hope you really enjoyed this video, and I really appreciate you watching. Be safe. Hope you catch a giant.